Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And I had someone link me a video a couple days ago. I just now uh, got around to watching it and I thought I would cover it. It's from a guy called Alpha Elm. And it's actually a pretty large channel, over 3 million subscribers who I've never heard of before, but there he is. And he said, look, this guy's basically just made a whole video explaining to guys how to get a Greek bot guy body but all he really talked about was supplements. So I went and watched it. Let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. We're going to skim up my crafting a little bit and let's talk about this. Uh, on a little side note, now I will say he did say a couple of things that were good there, but those things were basically less than one minute of the video. Um, the problem is that he focused on a lot of stuff that's basically ripoffs and conning people. Uh, so I'm going to address that because that's a big part of what I do. Anyone who follows me, knows that that's a lot of what I do here. It's a lot of what I do. I show guys that most of the supplements out there uh, are ripoffs. It, it's a ripoff. They don't help you at all. It's not in your best interest. That whole industry doesn't have your best interest in mind. Uh, they've been running a con since the days of Joe Weeder, which he referenced in there. Now, what I want to say, I'm not sure really what his channel is about. It seems to be about clothing and, and attitude and stuff and helping guys get more confident. Nothing wrong with helping young men get more confident. Uh, I believe getting young men in the weight room itself, getting them under a heavy barbell, will build character and confidence. I believe that. But if we're talking about what the thing with the alpha M, if he's playing on alpha male, there's a lot of bullshit going on online these days of trying to teach young men that you can help them become alpha male. Alpha male is just a personality trait. It just is what it is. You can't learn to be that way. You just gravitate that direction. Right? It's just intrinsic to your personality. Now, you can't get more confident, uh, but I just made a video the other day explaining how training for strength rather than training for aesthetics tends to boost confidence more consistently. It's my experience over the decades. So, because uh, I'm an old dude. I'm an old power lifter. So, that being said, uh, the problems with things he said had to do with supplements, and I'm going to break those down. Uh, what did the guy say that was good? He said the fastest way to get lean is diet and cardio. Uh, that's true. Absolutely true. Guy wants to lose body fat. But what I will tell most of you, you better build some muscle first. You're going to have to build muscle before you even worry about getting cut up. A uh, complete waste of time until you've put on a good 20 pounds of muscle. Don't even waste your time. Now, He's right on that. He also said that sleep and rest are critical. Absolutely true. I promote that same idea all the time. Uh, you need to be getting eight hours of sleep every night if you are training hard. Absolutely. And I don't care what you are training for. I don't care if you're training for powerlifting, football, golf at a high level, marathon running, bodybuilding. You better sleep eight hours a night if you are training physically. Uh, don't skimp on it. Uh, and then he pointed out that consistency, uh, absolutely true. And I mean, I agree with that consistency and program. When you start a training program, if you know it is a proven effective training program, you better run it for a year. If you're not willing to run it for a year, don't pretend like you followed it. Real talk. Now, as far as the nonsense goes, it started as soon as he started talking about Rich Gasperi and how he, it's like Rich Gasperi built his body on steroids, right? That is a total drug physique, pro bodybuilder. Uh, Self-admitted, plenty of gear use, plenty of it. Uh, you didn't, you don't get that just from training and lifting weights. Uh, then he went on and mentioned that he used to be a uh, natural bodybuilder. Nothing wrong with that, but he also owned a nutrition store. All right, and that he has a bodybuilding.com discount code. Bodybuilding.com is a big hustle. Um, not only do they have worthless garbage articles, which I review a lot of their articles and explain how bad the training philosophies are, how they're easily disproven with exercise science, uh, they also are the biggest pimps of supplements in the world. That's what they sell. Uh, and they've also got pop for putting illegal drugs in their supplements. They've paid $9 million in fines to the FDA. $9 million in fines to the FDA for putting drugs illegal drugs in their products and that's all public record nine million dollars guys that's what you're dealing with as far as an ethical company if you want to do business with them best of luck to you uh, that's I guess your personal choice but you've got that and it tells me something right there he used to own a 
supplement store because a nutrition store well that's called a grocery store you know a place that sells broccoli and chicken and nice lean beef and oats and rice that's nutrition it's called a grocery store guys no nutrition store that means he dealt in fart powders and snake oil and the problem is he already listed every single supplement that he listed is a supplement that i would consider to be virtually useless uh, and provably so. First thing he said, you need a good multivitamin. He doesn't care if you want to be a top level power lifter, whether you're trying to be body. But, well, sorry guys, I got invited to Worlds in Powerlifting after spending a year in bed sick. At age 37, after coming back from that, I got invited to Worlds in Powerlifting. I don't use a multivitamin. You know why? Because the top researchers in the world can't decide if they actually work and they can't decide if they're actually harmful for you. Let that sink in. The best researchers in the world, the people with PhDs in the field of nutritional science are still arguing, number one, if multivitamins are actually helpful at all, and number two, if they're dangerous for your organs. Now, if the best experts in the world who have made their entire career in their PhDs and doctoral work around these topics can't figure out and they're still arguing about it, you and I sure don't have the ability to know and neither does this guy. Uh, I don't recommend multivitamins at all. What else did he recommend? An essential fatty acid, three, six, and nine. All right, that's another goofball combo. The only essential fatty acids you're probably likely to get a benefit from if you supplement are three. Three. Uh, six, most people eat more than they need already. I can promise you the majority of you out there probably eat three or four times as much omega-6 as you already need for ideal health. Some of you eat 10 times the amount. Why would you supplement it? Uh, omega-9 isn't an essential fat and it's common. You, you, you want the highest source of omega-9 found in nature? Olive oil. Avocados is right behind it. All right, this is really easy to get. Why would you supplement that? The only thing that might be lacking in your diet because you don't eat fish, you don't eat large amounts of green vegetables, you don't eat grass-fed beef, might be omega-3. Some people can benefit from that. But the, the 3 6, 9 combo has been a scam and a hustle forever. Why, why would anyone want to take that? It's absurd. Uh, then he mentioned two things for fat burning, L-carnitine and CLA. And CLA is, conju was it conjugated linoleic acid? I can't remember anymore. Uh, all the studies on it, Guess what they found? It doesn't help with fat burning at all. It doesn't seem to be useful at all. Actually, it's just another type of saturated fat. If you were to take enough of it, it could hurt your cholesterol. It doesn't have any benefits to muscle recovery, muscle growth, fat burning, or metabolism. Now, carnitin doesn't seem to do much either unless you have a really low protein diet. Well, most people who are trying to get in shape are probably not raw vegans. Uh, most of us in Western countries who lift weights, we eat some meat and dairy every day. Odds are we're not on a very low protein diet. Americans on low protein diets, for example, who's the biggest chunk of his audience, it's almost non-existent. Uh, you're not going to benefit from this. And then we come back to the thing of a protein supplement. Why? Bark powders? Bark powders? You don't need a protein supplement. Why don't you find a protein source that you enjoy eating? Eat a little bit of chicken. Throw some extra beans on your feet. If you're worried you're not getting enough protein, and I promise you uh, it's not hard to get enough protein. It's not hard. Uh, honestly, most of the studies show you only need 1 to 1 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So a guy like me who weighs 2 220, power lifter like me at 220, I need about, since I weigh 100 kilos, it's 100 to 160 grams of protein. I get 200 grams of protein most days without tracking, without even looking at it, without trying. Uh, it's not hard to do because I eat meat and I, I drink dairy. And I eat a lot of whole foods. It's really easy to hit. So why does anyone need that? And most of you guys out there, I promise you, if you're getting advice from this guy on how to get a, a Greek God body, I promise you, you weigh a lot less than 220. Odds are you weigh less than 220 unless you're really fat. Fair enough. So you need even less. Most of you guys have no trouble getting 100 plus grams of protein in a day. One pound of chicken breast, which you can get for $2 at the store, has like 120 grams of protein. And then rice and everything else, it starts adding up pretty quick. 
a little bit of Greek yogurt goes a long way. Most of you guys out there, if you were worried about getting more protein in your diet, a tub of Greek yogurt, some skim milk, an extra chicken breast a day will cover all your bases more than some silly protein shake. And then you don't have to give your money to a bunch of con artist companies. But here's the problem that this comes down to is that it felt to me like this video he did, he didn't talk to you guys about training at all. He's talking about how to get a Greek God physique and all he did was pimp his discount code at bodybuilding.com and list several worthless supplements for you to buy. He didn't teach you anything about how to bench press correctly. Maybe how to do an overhead press correctly so you can get bigger shoulders and triceps. Bench press for your chest. Maybe teach you how to do a chin up. About a barbell squat. That's the stuff people need to know. That's what people need to know. In fact, I would say for most of you kids starting out right now, you focus on those four exercises, your entire shoulder girdle would get thicker, your arms would get bigger, your chest would grow, your legs would grow, your metabolism would go up. You combine that with a good diet, whole foods, a little bit of cardio, most of you guys would get a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and a lot leaner really fast if you just focused on just even those four exercises. But again, there was no discussion of any of that. He didn't talk to anybody about how to perform an exercise, any recommendations. Training is how you build muscle. He gave no information at all on any sort of effective training protocol. All right, training is everything. If you don't stimulate muscle growth correctly, you're not getting anywhere. And all he mentioned is that he does a body part split. Well, bro splits for people who are natural actually is the slowest way to gain muscle. It works great for guys who are using a lot of drugs. That's why most bodybuilders train that way. Most pro bodybuilders train that way. Most drug-free people are not going to find that style of training uh, to give them the best results. They'll probably gain half the muscle in the first year that they could. That's why guys like me put out free programs for you guys that tens of thousands of people have run. Got a whole playlist dedicated to it. And they're free. He didn't offer anything about training. And that's the most important part. It was all about selling you supplements and throwing in a little caveat of, yeah, you need to do cardio, you need to get enough sleep. And, and that stuff's good. That's important. The rest of it was just a commercial for a bunch of crap that you don't need. And I can tell you right now, guys who are watching this and they're saying, oh, I'm going to be an alpha male. Alpha males don't go throwing away their money on worthless crap that's not going to help them reach their goals. Followers and sheep do that. Not real men. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.